Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Airport CEO, and today we're going to be continuing our path to commercial. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going with that. So, um, as you can see, our night flights are now done. We're going to get some advanced runway lighting. <clears throat> so we're going to need a maximum of five people, but we don't have five, because, as you remember, eight is now working on that one. So we're going to have three. Um, so we're just going to see how long that's going to take. But... We're going to go back to here, and what here is, is by putting in these desks, these boarding desks, which is awesome. So, um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, like so. And then this will be like the little room that passengers get to sit in. Okay, I I'll agree with that for now. And then we can build like one here. And we can do the following. Out here. We need a little area for them to sit down in as well. So, lovely, and because I can't be asked to keep doing that, we're just going to do this, there, <laughs> there, 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 and there. We're also going to need some flight information displays, so when you first come into the airport, you're always greeted by these information displays. Um, so we're going to put some here. Three there. We're also going to put some in security because, you know, that's always important. We'll put it at the back so people know that they should have uh, gotten their flights quicker. And then these ones will go over. Yeah. And we're going to put some over here. Behind here. And we're going to need some seating for the passengers, so let's get these ones out. Perfect. One there, one there. Can't fit in there. Can't fit that one there, though. And there. Damn. Alright, and these ones are gonna go here, here, and here. Do the same thing on this side. Same thing on this side. And I'm sorry if you can hear the rain in my mic. It is absolutely pouring it down right now. Absolutely hammering it down. And it was pretty sunny this morning, which is really weird. But hey, that's London weather for you. Right, what we are going to do is we are going to hire a COO. So we're going to... Applicants, executives, and COOs. 31 an hour to 35. He's cheaper to hire an hour. Let's do it. We're going to also go for a Chief Financial Officer and a Chief... I don't know what CIO is. If someone knows, let me know. But these, this one and this one. Reject bad candidates. Or lower skilled candidates in this case. And maybe you find a better one. <clears throat> Lovely. So let's go back to Operations. Check out R&D. You know what? We're actually going to hire two more staff, two more administrators. Hire and hire. So, now we've got our airport pretty much built up. What do you think the next step is to do? We need to connect our gates. And that's how we do it. It's pretty simple. There we go. One there. One there. That one there. 
that one here, and this one here. So we've connected our gates, and in order for these gates to actually work as commercial, we need to do the following. Just switch them on to, to commercial. And these gates will no longer be operated by um, general aviation, which is good. Um, we need to repair the runway. Let's see if we've got any. Nope, we don't have any upgrades. Lovely. Okay, so these are going to all depart soon, but we need staff, and of course, we need a contract to make sure that we've got enough planes. Pretty sure that's all connected. Yeah, it is connected. They are going, they are disappearing, but it's just going to give me annoying notifications for now. So, because our runway isn't catering to commercial, that's why we've got all of these like exclamation marks. But we've actually allowed commercial flights in. And yeah, we need to hire people. I get it. So, with hiring of people, we need few people. We need ramp agents to take bags off the planes. We need passenger service agents to mo to take on the check-in the check-in desks and the boarding desks. So we're going to need quite a few. We're going to need security personnel. So we're going to hire quite a few people today. Um, and we're going to hire some janitors. Let's hire three. And, a and a these guys here, service technicians, make sure you always get them because they fix your stuff. It's pretty cool. Right, security officers. You're a bad candidate. You're bad candidates. We'll take you guys, but you're not the best of candidates. So what we're going to do is we're going to filter down to security officer. We're going to train them. Because if they don't have the training, they're not looking for... They're not looking for stuff. You can re get rejected there. Uh, let's train you. You're max trained now. Let's take you. You don't need training. You're pretty freaking high. Yeah, I'm not going to train you. There's no point. Hire you. And we'll train you. There we go. Alright, so now we've got seven. Let's take eight. There you go. Lovely. We've got eight of them now. So they're going to be manning their positions. There's four there, and they'll switch around between the other guys in here as well. I think the other one is... Where's the other security? That one there? No, it's a janitor. I know there's more of these security guys somewhere. I just don't know where they are. Anyway. Passenger agents. So we need... Passenger service agents. We need to do that. Hire the best ones. Reject the other ones. We need to train them. So they're better at their job. Reject. So the reason why I reject those ones. And I need to train these ones. I know it's harder for them to, to actually like be trained. But the low ones. When you fully train them. They're only like halfway. Unless they're really good at learning. So I usually tend to reject them. And the better you are at your job, then the better it is. So she would have only got into the green. The other ones would have got into the amber. And we can actually check up, um, set the skill filter. But I don't do that so I can actually see what everyone's doing. All right. So we've got six agents at 25. We're going we're gonna to need way more people. Reject him. We'll hire him. There we go. Lovely. So, we've got quite a few. We need ramp agents. That's who I was forgetting. Ramp agents. You guys are lovely. Let's go to ramp agent here. Can't train you anymore. So, we're going to give you keep you max trained. We're going to hire you, reject you, go back here, and train you to be better. Ramp agents, I can't specify how important they are and how many you need. Ramp agents and passenger service agents are the ones that you guys need the most. Because they, they're they going to be constant. It's constant. So, we're going to go to tab. We're going to go to economy. We're going to go to offered contracts. And we're now going to go to airlines. And as you can see, we've got a huge choice of airlines. Now, what I usually do is because my airport is small, uh, we're only going to do small and medium flights. That's the ones I usually look for because we can't cater to large aircraft. Well, not yet anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to accept CLM's one for now. And we're going to press F and it brings up our flights. And because I've got a COO and a CIO, this can be done as auto planner. And if I change it down to a 20 minute interval, right, 
If I look on Sunday, oh, bad one, Monday, Tuesday, no, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, no planes. Right, so CLM are going to start giving us contracts, um, and then they're going to start, look, there we go. Today, we've already got three flights coming in, um, all within five minutes of each other, ten minutes of each other. So, awesome, we're going to see our first aircraft come in. I think that one just went go around, yeah. So, if we do runway upgrades, we can't do anything. We can leave that and we're going to go straight to our R&D and see what everyone's on. So, as you can see, our extended commercial and advanced lighting is nearly done. It is nearly done. Um, and we literally just have to wait for that. So, when are these flights coming in? These flights should be, as you can see, two more flights have popped up on the board. We're going to have five flights today. Alright, so our first flight should be coming in after this one, I believe. Because they come in super early. So they're down take off and the other one's going to come in. There it is. Is that our first one? Let's slow it down. Yeah, our first CLM. And that is coming from Algeria. It's coming from Algeria. And what's going to happen if I click here once the plane's deboarded? Uh. Ah, it is there. Right, deboarding the turnaround process. So basically, we are not offering them fuel. We can offer them fuel. So if we go to if we go to operations here, we can offer them ramp agents, and we don't have the Jet One fuel trucks, which I forgot to buy. So if we go to purchase, we're gonna order two of them, and that's two thousand plus fifty an hour. So as you can see, our regional airports are pretty much done. So that one's not going to need it, that one's not going to need it, and we can actually go back to operations because we've bought them. Nope. When's our trucks getting here? Come on, fuel trucks. Let's go. Just got to wait for them to show up from the tunnel of death. Oh, and now the quick uh, seasonal change right there to autumn. It's no longer spring. Oh, a new product's arrived. There they are. Right, now we can actually put it on the table. JA1 fuel service enabled. And that's going to be happy because it brings us more passengers. If we go back to tab and we go to our actually economy tab and our fees, we can change our fees. So every small um, aircraft now has to pay £600 to use our runway, whether it's takeoff or landing. And our fuel fee, we get charged 0 0.3, so that's uh, 60, 70p. Per liter, and I have gas. We charge. We get it's one point six. We're gonna charge them two point five. Um, passenger handling fees instead of fifteen pounds, we're gonna charge them twenty. Twenty five pound a flight. We don't have baggage, so you know we can't do any much with that. So that's what we're gonna charge people, and as you see, it's twenty five pound a person. So we're making money. We're making more money than we need. Well. We're making money so we can survive, essentially. <clears throat> so our staff salaries today is twelve thousand one hundred fifty-nine because we've got so many people, and we're not making a profit yet because we've been training, we've got procurements and stuff like that. Let's actually have a look at today's year, uh, day six, year one. So as you can see, most of our costs today um, were construction costs. It's been a bad day. We've lost money. But if we weigh it out a little bit, if I go to F again, as you can see, we've got flights coming in. Tomorrow is another busy day. We can only take 25 flights a day. So what we can do is to make more money, we go back to economy and we get another one. Forest there. They've got Cessnas. Let's get them signed. They're going to start coming in with their flights. As you can see Forest Air three hours later into Sunday and Monday we've already got flights coming in. So it's gonna be constant. We can take twenty five flights a day because of our small ATC tower. And let's go back to our development. So as you can see their development is now done. We've got the extended commercial and we've got the advanced runway lighting. So what we're going to need is we're going to need the following. Uh we're gonna go for program group Two. That needs three people. We're giving three people. Proactive maintenance. So maintenance is working before they even 
before it gets really dirty, like they do now, they wait for it to get dirty, then they go and clean it. I don't want that to happen. I want them to be proactive. Before it gets dirty, I want you guys to clean the floors or repair the benches or whatever it may be. So this can be open and passengers are only allowed in this one. All right, sorry, I'm just sipping some coffee. As you can see, we've got passenger service agents over here doing all sorts of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hire some more <clears throat> passenger service agents. We're gonna hire some more ramp agents as well. Passenger service agents, we're gonna hire them, reject all of them because they're not the category I want. And unfortunately, at one point, we're gonna probably have to accept these because we're gonna be so busy that there's no space. We just need them. So, we've got three flights on right now. We've got one of them there. That one's already gone. When does the boarding open for this one? At zero, zero, at five to one. That one's gonna open at 20 past 12. So in about 20 minutes. So there should be a ramp. Oh, they're complaining of the toilets, aren't they? Let's go to bathrooms quick. Let's go to bathrooms again. One here. We need the bathroom here. We're gonna keep clicking, clicking, clicking. Lovely. All right, we're gonna build a wall here. And then back to the bathroom, and we can put these down as sinks. Rotate them to the wall. Lovely, and we're gonna put some head, some hair dryers. That's what we're doing. Some hand dryers on the back wall there, like so. We're also gonna give them a door. That's a window. On a door here, like so. And then we can open this bathroom in just a second. There we go. Passengers can now use it while the, while they're fixing it and just doing everything. As you can see, he's already going to the toilet. And he's going to wash his hands. Is he going to dry him? doesn't even dry him. Cure. He just walked out of wet hands. Lovely. And look at our flights today. We've got 24 out of 25 capacity, with most of them being in the morning on Sunday. Jesus. That is a biz busy Sunday for us guys very busy Sunday can you imagine when we've got most of our airport up and running with all the stands and everything and we've got these crazy just crazy so what I'm gonna do is we're actually going to expand for our general aviation and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it for the future and I want our general aviation to be down here it's where I want our general just our general aviation these are all turn be turning into gates soon um, some of them will be walked, some of them will get the bus, but we'll see what we can do in the future. But, for now, I want these to be our general aviation, so we're going to pay some more taxiway. And I'm going to do this to there, and I'm just going to see where we can actually... There we go. Perfect. That is actually perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so what we're actually going to do is we're going to actually build the taxiway, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're going to do this, 5 by however many, and then we're going to add some more ramps. So this is going to cost us a lot in the short run, but in the long run, it'll be easier. It'll be so much easier in the long run. There we go. But it means we can just accept more. Uh, you know what? We're actually going to do a double, a double taxiway. I 
I'll tell you the reason why for that in a second. I'll tell you the reason why in just a sec, guys. If you can guess why, put it in the comments. And uh, I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. And I will tell you if you're right or wrong in just a second. You gonna build it? You gonna build it? Build, 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 build. Lovely. As you can see, they're already coming down. But here's the here's the issue that I've got already. I can't connect them to my. Uh, so you know what? We're actually gonna do this. We're actually gonna get rid of these ones here. What we are gonna do is we're gonna get a service thing. I'm gonna go here. Not so. So technically we have to wait for, and because they won't be able to get there, we're going to do the following as well. Service, and we'll get them down here. Like so. And that means we're going to need another two of these, I believe. So we're waiting for that to happen. And awesome. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. Actually, before I do, the reason why I've built two uh, taxiways is so that one can go down, one can go up. So, if you put that in the comments, well done. You guys know what you're talking about. And, yeah. If you didn't know, not a problem. But that's the reason why. So it doesn't cause congestion. There we go. Alright. So the fuel trucks can actually get down here now, which is good. And as you can see, we've got a nice little general aviation park down, or parking system down the bottom here. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. There's Mozzie International at its finest. Catch you guys later.